Um, when we talk about profiling, uh, the police don't don't want to be profiled uh, any more than 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 black or brown people do. And so we get profiled, uh, we get painted with a broad brush. But I think one of the things that we haven't discussed yet is uh, within the African American community, and as it relates to being a black police officer, if you're a black police officer, for some reason, the community, some in the community view you as an Uncle Tom or a sellout or a race trader when you're just trying to be a police officer and realistically, um, you know, uh, improve your community. That's one issue. The last thing real quick is that some cops, I'm just going to be candid, some police officers, I'm a captain, I'm speaking from 21 years experience. I was in LAPD class 1191. I was in the second class after um, the Rodney King incident, right? And uh, the second class, and, and we actually had the riots in 92 occur while I was in the academy. So that's how long, that's how long I've been on the department uh, at, at airport police, separate from, from uh, uh, LAPD. Some cops are just assholes. I'm sorry. They're just Adam Henry's. And they treat citizens bad. They treat their fellow cops bad. And so if you, know, uh, if you have contact with a citizen and you're just an Adam Henry, then the, the public and the, con the people you're having contact with, the people of the community, are going to think you're racist, right, if you're a white officer. But, but you know, more oftentimes, well, I won't say more oftentimes, sometimes they're not a racist. They just don't have any personality. They don't have any personality. And so they also get, oh, you know, that cop must be racist. They don't like black or brown people, things of that nature, um, just because of how they come off. When other officers on the department know you know, those officers that are Adam Henry's, they're badge heavy, you know, um, the badge and the gun uh, and the uniform makes them who they are. I just wanted to comment on what Captain um, Patrick just said, and, and you also reiterated about the stigma that's placed on police officers in the African-American community. Um, myself, as well as the Lakers organization, we are friends with law enforcement. Um, we support, you know, the community safety um, partnership and I find it, you know, ironic as well that when we're out in the community and talking with the officers, you do hear people, you know, saying negative things and it really affects the ability to recruit. You know, I, I would love to see more, you know, young African-American males and females sign up for, you know, to become officers, but they don't find it to be like an honorable job or a great position to have. And I feel like that is really a problem. And we're not sellouts because we support the police. Um, I don't support wrongdoing in any profession. I certainly don't condone police brutality, but the answer is not to be anti-police either. It's to try and identify what the problem is, you know, and then work together to find a solution. Um, my son is, you know, a young African-American millennial He's a civilian. He does not work for LAPD, but he does a lot of partnerships with LAPD, teaches financial literacy to the cadet program. And it's always amazing to him to see the lack of diversity, you know, in those programs. And I worry about him sometimes, too, that people will call him a sellout because he's doing this work, you know, hand in hand with LAPD. But it's all a, a means to an end to try and get more, you know, blacks involved in law enforcement and i don't claim to have the answer i think we need to figure out what is the solution to not being able to attract you know more african americans into law enforcement